YouTube, YouTube, what's going on, baby? Like always, hope y'all had a good day. Hope y'all in great spirits and in good health. Today, man, we in the garage. We in the garage messing with old Big Snow. About that right? I hadn't told y'all yet. I named a Big Snow. I named a baby Big Snow, you know what I'm saying? It fit me, it fit her. You know what I'm saying? Jeezy, my favorite rapper. Uh, all of that, it all just made sense. So we done, we done named a Big Snow. And uh, we about to get, I'm about to get some work done on her. Uh, the Magna Ride uh, front suspension it uh, done went out on me, so I had to get a get a replacement set. And what I went with was this company called R Not or Not R Not, however you want to say that. Did I was doing some research, man, and man, they say that was like one of the best uh, the best replacement that you can. They I mean it fit perfect. It already has the wire that connects to the top. We're gonna get in all that. It already has the wire that connects to the top. You ain't gotta build no harness for them. Or you ain't gotta re -ride, rewire the harness and nothing like that. And so that's why I just went with them, man. They said they do some bang up shocks, man. They last a pretty good time. Cause from what I have been reading is the stock, uh, the stock Magna Ride shocks on these uh, GM products, man. They only last about 50 to 80,000 miles, so. And that and that's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? This truck got a little over 100,000 miles on it. And it was still riding good. The only reason I noticed that the shops were wore out, check this out. Y'all see this, these oil drips right here? Big snow was parked right here. It had been sitting right here for man for about, about a week and a half. So it just been sitting right here. And I came out one day and I noticed these oil drips. And it didn't come from the engine compartment. And so what I did was, once I got under it, as soon as I laid my head under it, I saw what it, the driver's side front shop was leaking. So I was like, uh-oh, you know, gotta change the shops. I started researching, try to figure out what the best replacement shop was for it, and I ran across those or not, or not, or not. So yeah, that's what we're about to do today, man. Y'all come on the road with me, man. We're about to, about to get some work, uh, some wrenching done, baby. Get a little wrenching done. So y'all hold on for a second, all right? Uh. All right, y'all. Get under here and jack this thing up. Jack this thing up with my new three-ton baby I just bought. Just did an unboxing video on it, man. Y'all go check it out. I'm sure y'all probably seen it already, but if you had, go check it out, man. I had fun. I had fun doing that thing. So we got both wheels chopped in the back. Got the thing up on the frame here. And uh, about to go up with it, cuz. Yeah, yeah. Trusted, dusted, jack stain. There we go. Lock this thing in play here. Yeah. Everything. All right, there we go, baby. Everything locked, secured into play. And uh, go ahead and get the front wheel out here. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I always keep it a buck with y'all. I had already broken before I even started recording, so. Yeah, they already broke loose. So y'all ain't finna see me struggling on camera. Woo! Oh yeah. Come on off here. Come on off of here. All right, come on in here. Let me show you, show y'all what we're working with here. See, this the front shot that I noticed was leaking. Let's see, I get my light. Y'all see that? Y'all see all that dirt, grind, oil. Oh. So what I'm guessing it, it popped the seal or whatever and start leaking. And from what my research, man, these are these BWIs, all the stock shocks, man. They the one that came on the truck from the factory. And they don't even make them no more. And like I say, man, it still rolled pretty good to me. It rolled damn good for, for it to have some busted shots on it. But uh, I'm excited to see what these do, man. I can just imagine what some new shots gonna do for me. Like these brand new in the box. See, uh, like I said, these Magna Ride shots, they have, they are electronically controlled. I ain't even getting all to the science of it because I don't know what I'm talking about and I don't know how they work. All I know is they ride damn good. But yeah, so, from my understanding, we got three bolts right here on the top of this shop. We got one, two, and then three right down to that wire over there on the back side. And we got 
Get up under here. Get up under here. We got one and two. Two bolts underneath the strut. Shock assembly. So yeah, I can see it real good, right? You see that? Yeah, I see that all right now. Yep. Yep. That's where that oil was coming from, right there. So yeah. Let's go ahead and get cracking, y'all. Before we uh before the storm come through. Alright, let's roll. Alright, y'all. First thing we gotta tackle is this uh sway bar link right here. Two 15 millimeter bolts. You just gotta hold the wrench up there and loosen it from this end. You don't have to take it off. You just need it to be loose enough for you to get your work done. Alright, so here we go. Like I said, man, just two 15 millimeter bolts. You need that to hold it. So you gotta screw one from the bottom. I think that's good enough. Say you ain't gotta uh <clears throat> you ain't gotta take it all the way out. Just uh loosen it up. Yeah, drop your tool too. Alright. All right, so the next step is move these two bolts from underneath underneath the shop. That one and that one. Let's go. Both of them out. Now we gotta go to the top, baby. Gotta go to the top. And before I go any further, man, I do have to let y'all know I did connect, disconnect the uh the negative side of the battery terminal. Uh the negative side of the battery, you know what I'm saying? Because these these shots are electronic, so they they uh controlled by computer. We will be disconnecting those, so it'd be a good idea to disconnect your battery. All right, let's go. All right, so these three bolts that we got up here on the top. <clears throat> They uh they got they covered by these little these little plastic uh these little plastic tabs right here. Man, you can just simply just uh put pull up on them, pull up on them, and they'll come right off. Even though it's got to come off too. And you got one right here, one right there. And I think that's it. That's only only these two, only these two were covered up. You got this one boat, two boat, and. Three boat right there. Three boat. One, two, three. These are deep socket. You need your deep socket 18 millimeter. <clears throat> and it should come right off. Let's go. So now, what you gotta do, take this tab right here, this gray tab on that connector, pull it out. And then uh, it should that connection should that connector should come apart. Pull it towards you like that. See how it can go in, or I can pull it out, pull it out like that. It should be ready to come out. There you go. <laughs> that was too easy. Yeah. So see, it won't lock since it ain't in there. You pull it up, press this gray tab down, and it'll come right out. All right. All right, y'all got everything loose. Should be able to just push the bad guys out of, push it out of, out of the hole here. Push it back down like so. Watch that wire. And then we're gonna pull it out like this here. Pull it out like that. It's our problem child right here, y'all. Old shot there. And that's the new one. Might go to install it. So, to install it, we're just gonna reverse everything we did, all right? Let's go. That bad boy done whoop me. Yee! All right, y'all, here we go. Gonna try it again here. Down here. Stick that wire up through the hole so it don't get pinched on nothing. Check it out. What's going on up? So that's why you gotta loosen up this uh, sway bar link so you can get you enough tension to push down 
and then put this uh line of strip line of stress up with this hole here we got it in there y'all it's in there now we got to do this uh you know put the two bolts in back in back in from the bottom three up top and don't forget to tie your sway bar link back up all right let's roll y'all uh they company man or not they supply you with new hardware new uh mountain hardware so all i'm gonna do is just bring me a bring me a nice little bead of blue loctite nice little bead of nice little bead <laughs> Rim me a nice little bead of blue Loctite, man, on your new heart. Well, we don't want nothing, uh, we don't want nothing coming loose on your dog. Yeah. Come in from the bottom like so. Uh, that is. That is. All right. And the next one, huh? Same thing, man. Bring you a little smile bead. Quick little bead of blue Loctite on. You don't need a whole lot. You don't need a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm Get snug like so. And we gonna tighten them bad boys up, cuz. The uh the boats that the company sent with me, the hard what they sent with me, they both 15. So fit both of them 15. That's so all I'm gonna do is use my 15 mil rent, 15 mil socket. In the same way we took the uh, the sway bar link up loose, we're gonna use the same thing to tighten this up. Uh, just something about being all the way up under a car when it jacked up. Just don't give me the warm and fuzzy. All right, just uh, snuck them down one side at a time. So I get it all the way tight. <clears throat> that ought to be. Good and snug down to it. <clears throat> should be good now though, player. It should be good. Now let's go to the top, y'all. All right, y'all, we up back up top. And uh, first thing we wanna do, make sure we plug this guy back in. We don't want no mishaps. There we go. Click it back in like so. Push that gray tab back in. It locked, baby. Locked. Back in the game, cuz. Make sure that covered up, though. Oh man, leaking a tearing, sneak leaking, sneaking the geeking. Little bead of lot tight, blue lot tight. Just something for kicks and giggles. Give me the warm and fuzzies. Start it on by hand, cuz. So I'm gonna just run blue lot tight on all these studs here. And then I'm gonna run them down, tighten up the top. And we're gonna holler back at y'all in a second. Alright. Alright, y'all. We got everything back buttoned up down here. Uh, like I say, one, two, three bolts, plug that plug back in, everything on the top, button back up, and uh, we good up here on top. I just gotta put the cap back on, like uh, one cap and two cap. Put the caps back on, on top, done dot And a uh, quick little, quick little uh, tip, man, you know, <clears throat> the hardware that comes off of the stock, uh, stop strut, strut mount is an 18 mil so you're gonna need a deep socket 18 mil for the stock ones right but the company are by are not i meant to say are not the uh hardware or the uh the mount hardware up top is a 15 mil so that's why i had to rent to the store get a 15 mil deep socket so yeah that's a quick little tip man the stock ones are 18 and the aftermarket ones that came with the R knots are 15. This is the stock one, stock head bolt. Uh, for the top of the strut mount, it's 18. The ones that came on, 15. So just remember that when you want to do it yourself, all right? Let's roll. All right, so only thing left to do now is tighten up the sway bar link, y'all. Yes, sir. Looking pretty good, that kid. Looking pretty good. Now all we got left to do, put that front tie back on, man. That's it. Put the front tie back on. Tighten the little nuts back up. Man, and uh, take out the jack stand, knock the jack back down. And, man, that's a done dot, cuz. I'm gonna go ahead and put the tie back on. And then, I'm gonna knock out the left side. Knock out the left side right here. It's 
literally the same process as I just did over there. You got a little bit more stutter work around over here on this side, but it's the same procedure. Everything's the same. So I'm gonna check in with y'all in the morning. Appreciate y'all sticking in with me, man. Uh. All right, y'all, it's the next morning. Y'all see we got everything back together, all buttoned up, ready to go, right? <sighs> Not quite. See, I went to move the truck out of the garage last night after I had put everything back together. And I got a, uh, a light come up across my dash. Y'all check this out. Y'all see that? It says service suspension system. Now granted, I did not. I did not have that light well, when that suspension was worn out, busted and all that. that I never had that warning up though. What I'm gonna do, first thing I'm gonna do is uh, quadruple check my uh, my connectors of the, uh, the suspension connectors. Make sure they're connected in, locked in real good. That don't work. I'm gonna try a hard reset on the battery. You know, disconnect the battery for 10 plus minutes. Try that, see if that work. And if that don't get it, then I'm gonna be making a call to R not the, the the people who make the suspension. I'm gonna make a call to them and see uh see what they come up with, see what they got, or if they have a, a procedure to getting this stuff done. And if that don't work, then I just have to uh probably just pay a dealership or uh, uh, some sort of mechanic shop or anybody to try to recalibrate the system for me or see what's going on with that light. But like I said, cause like I say, even with the worn out suspension, I never got a, sur a service suspension light. It just came up after I put the new suspension on. So just troubleshoot, man, trying to figure it out, but we gonna get there, man. Small thing to a giant, baby. Small thing to a giant, we gonna get there. But let me try to uh, make sure everything's connected correctly and then uh, we'll go for now. Then I'll uh, hook y'all up and see what I found, all right? Let's go. All right, y'all. I think I found a problem almost immediately. Yeah, see? Yeah, I look on the inside of here. It's supposed to be two pins. Y'all see that? But it's only one pin. Like that other pin been, it's either broke or pushed all the way in. I can't tell. But it's like that pin, that other pin. It's supposed to be two silver pins. You see that one pin right there? I see that one pin to the right. It's supposed to be two of those, but I only see one. So, yeah, like it's been, it looks like it's broken, y'all. I don't know. But yeah, I'm about to give a call to r not and see if I can, they'll send me out a replacement. Yeah, cause it, it's broken, like it's broken, but it ain't, it ain't inside of this uh, connector. So yeah, I'm about to give a call to r not and see if uh, they can send me a replacement. Cause that pin is clearly, let me see. That second pin is clearly not in there or it's missing. So now you can see the, the correct, the, the whole pin to the left is supposed to be two of those. And you can see over here on the right, it's missing. So yeah, that's probably what my problem is. Let me give a call to R not and uh, we'll see what we got going on y'all. Obviously this situation ain't gonna be resolved today I will be hitting y'all up with an update in the comments. I promise I'll give y'all an update in the comments and uh, we'll find out what's going on with the thing, all right? Appreciate y'all sticking in with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and, and doing these little projects with me. Cause uh, like I said earlier, man, I'm no mechanic by any stretch of the mean, by any stretch of the imagination, I am no mechanic. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no professional. I don't, half the time, I don't really know what I be doing. But you know what I'm saying? I'll look at some. I see if I can try to do it myself. You know what I'm saying? I ain't afraid to get in and try it myself for the first time. You know what I'm saying? At least once, because you were going to pay somebody to do it anyway. So if you do break it, it don't matter. Try it yourself first, you break it, then you pay somebody to fix it. You know what I'm saying? But the purpose of my videos is to give you motivation and inspiration to let you know, man, you can do this stuff yourself. Anybody can do it. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, like always, like always, Hope y'all had a good day. Hope y'all in great spirits and in good health. Until next time, we're trouble two times, baby. Mm. And like I said, check the comments for an update. All right. We'll let you know the thing if we got this thing ironed out. Let's roll.